Coach, an opening statement on tonight's game. Well, obviously disappointing. Um, certainly didn't uh, play uh, the game that we anticipated to play. Uh, but, you know, you obviously have to credit a lot of that to Ferris and how they play. They played an excellent game. Uh, we were kind of hoping they were going to play similar to the way they, play, they played last night. Um, a little sluggish, but they certainly came out tonight and proved why they're one of the best teams in the country and, you know, really handed it to us for a better part of the game. I thought we made a couple of runs. I thought we could have gotten it, you know, inside of five, eight points to make it really interesting, put a little pressure on them. And when they were never, we were never able to cut that gap and really put more pressure on them, especially in the second half. Like I said, I thought if we could get it close to even under 10 points, the pressure would build a little bit and we could kind of build some momentum. Um, you know, but I mean, I take my hats off to them. They're a really good team. Uh, and they're, you know, key players played excellent games. Hankins, you know, 10 offensive rebounds. They had 19 as a team. And seemed whenever they missed, they just got their own miss. They missed 39 shots and got 19 of them. Almost, almost half their misses. You hope to keep teams under. 22, 23 percent, and they got almost 50. So, certainly as good as they are, especially at home, you can't give them second opportunities, and we gave them a lot. Thought we did a, you know, okay job, you know, especially late in the second half, doing some different things. But, you know, again, they had that separation it was tough for us to make up. What kind of challenges do you face playing a team four times the same season and then twice in the same week like you did? Well, it's certainly a challenge because of the team we're playing. I mean, I, I think if it's a team that. Uh, you know, that you have a good matchup with, you kind of like that matchup. You can play them 100 times, you know, and maybe Ferris thinks that about us. I don't know, but, uh, you know, we, we thought we had a good game plan. We thought we were going to play really well. I was very uh, anxious to play. Our guys were, you know, they were ready to play. Uh, certainly no excuses. You know, we obviously have to have to give credit where credit's due, and Ferris is a deserving champion, and, and uh, you know, certainly wish them well moving forward, uh, representing the GLIAC, uh, you know, tomorrow, or excuse me, Tuesday, and then, Hopefully, for their sake, in the Elite Eight. Your thoughts, Coach, about your season and you put it into perspective now? You know, I love my guys flat out. It was one of the hardest um, locker rooms I've had. You know, just a great group of guys that, uh, you know, not even about basketball. I mean, I'm going to have lifelong friends from those, those four seniors in that group that we had. And, uh, you know, what a Kim G, Lance, Josh. And uh, Big Phil has done for our program is amazing. You know, we're we're no longer a, a, a good school in our conference. You know, we're a, we're a team that can be recognized as a a national uh, team that uh, you know we've been consistent uh, over the years. Um, but just more as people, I'm going to miss those guys and the relationships we had. That's what made me so sad uh, in the locker room and after the game is that we're not going to have that same relationship uh, with those guys in the same room ever again. Uh, they're certainly going to be lifelong friends of the guys that they played with over the years and certainly uh, with me. Uh, but it's just sad to see it come to an end because they're such a special group of young men.